What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday evening. We are here at Joe Boo's Man Cave. I am digesting C.D. Lamb, who has come out on Micah Parsons' podcast on Bleacher Report, and I'm going to say maybe he threw mama under the bus. I don't know. I, I want to play an excerpt from it. We're just going to play the audio here. where are Sidney Lamb in his own voice um, about wanting to be paid, wants to be the highest paid receiver in football. And he talks about uh, mom and her emotions. Let's listen in for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? At this receiver position, you can only control so much. You feel what I'm saying? And the only thing I can do is continue to get open. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so uh with that, bro, just the disrespect was crazy. I crazy. saw it, I saw all of it. Don't get me wrong, I ain't coming on all of it, but I saw all of it. And if you think you're safe, you're not, I saw it. Um but yeah, nah, bro, I stay out the media. Everybody know that. You know that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't too much of the but when you see me, you're gonna see me. You know what I'm saying? And um I'm a firm believer in that. And yeah, bro. You know once we, I mean? once we, you know, I'm I'm a victim too of people talking crazy on social. media. You know media, what it's like. Social media, family, friends. You know, what what do you got to say to Cowboys Nation? Like, you you want to be back? Hi, contract coming up. Got it. Got to secure it. What what numbers? I can't give you no numbers right now. But I tell you this: one of the top. Pay receivers for sure. No, if break, not D, break the bank. If not D, break the bank. If not D, brother. Here, Micah, that's, that's, break that's the bank. Always the goal, you know what I'm saying? You know, you work hard to be in this position, so just having this opportunity, you know, I'm trying to take full advantage. 100. percent You want to be a cowboy for life? Absolutely. There's no secret about that. I think you owe a message to Cowboys Nation because they've been like, they've been desperately trying to get your attention. Like they wanted to hear from you for like. You got yeah. me. <laughs> so Cowboys Nation, man. Um, Talk to me. Almost, I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Even though y'all be talking crazy sometimes, it's okay. It comes. It comes with the territory. You know what it's I'm saying? I um, appreciate you. And then I know we're gonna clear the elephant out of the room. I know what my mom said. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get the elephant out of the room. Oh, we got the <laughs> tea. <Woo -hoo! laughs> Let's get the elephant out of the room. No, I have I have no conscience. No, I have not been talking to my mom about any of this. I don't talk to my mom about my sports nor my personal problems. She just being a mom. Um, she knows her son. He comes home mad, unfortunately, when we lose. So she got it. She had the opportunity to voice her opinion on Facebook. Yeah, we know. Mm -hmm. I have once again. I'm gonna repeat this. No, I have no beef with my quarterback. I love my dog. He know that. You know, with, I feel like with would, that being said, let's go make some more millions. Let's go score some more touchdowns. Was you anticipating the year Dak had? Dak went dumb. Come on, man. What you mean? He's been doing this all, you know what I'm saying, all camp, all, yeah. all year. But there's just certain people like Stephen A who had the audacity oh, to come on this show. I do it. I work. We oh, had, yeah. We he had the audacity to come on this oh, show. I know. <laughs> and, and try to disrespect. He said, I, I, I love Dak. I love Dak. But. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep, keep telling him, please tell him Dak got that edge. Bro, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. It's only, they're going to always have. You can't make everybody believers. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I've realized that. As much as you want to, you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody going to always have something to say. But the only way we can do it is to give them what they want. And that's that championship. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. We all need that. We even talked about the yacht. There you we go. Used to be on the yacht too, right? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what that's like. We we're just, <laughs> Jay, Jerry told him, he said, "How dare him not have us on the jet?" That, well, Jerry, we want the jet, bro. We yeah, want, let's get a couple. No, of them. not I the jet. The yacht. The yacht. We want to be on the yacht. It don't matter. We want to be, on, be the on the yacht. We want the yacht. Listen, we want the yacht. We want the the fun. You can come join us. You know what I'm saying? We, we want the camaraderie. Yeah, you need to have a yacht party in like Greece or something. Ah, <laughs> Greece, huh? <laughs> we try to go out the country. Yeah, okay. I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. You know, I like to travel. I'm gonna leave that part right there. But um, 
It's a 45 minute interview with the CD. And I want to add this portion. I think it is right here. Um, shout out to Bleacher Report for getting the stuff. Let's see if this is where it starts. Can zoom in? Can we zoom in? That's a well done steak. Can we zoom in? Oh, it's no. a steak. I thought it was a hot dog. Okay. Can we nah, zoom in? Don't find the yellow. He's trying to find a little piece. <laughs> Can we uh, zoom in? He's trying to find a piece with a little where bit of a pink. Where we at? No, no. We yeah, they, they killed that poor steak. I see you. That is. That's a little red. Huh? Oh, it's got a little bit. Okay. Now, just for that, you got to eat that one. Look, 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 look at this. This is what well, You're sick. You're sick. You have well done steak. You just took all the flavor out. So soft. Watch. Oh, then I you put get you on fatty steak? Me- medium well, sir. See, I'm a fillet type. A fillet. Okay, let's get to. Let me go a little further. How's face? What do you think the root was? How you feel? I'm getting there. Remember, you know, this is broadcast media. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. Go. Go. I'm here. To answer questions. Go. And I feel like personally, no, I didn't have the best, you know, beginning, the start um, of the game. I had a drop. Um, but I also only had two targets. So it felt like you went back to. And no, I'm not pointing at that. So mm. it felt like you went back to week five. Like when you had to drop the always open line. Yeah, and then we got we got off, you know. Um, after week five, I feel like it was an understanding. Uh, and no, I'm not taking shots at anybody, but it's constructive criticism. I know what I did wrong. I had two drops. I had a the slant that we incompleted um, that could have made it been a big play. Uh, we incompleted. Me and Dag missed it. Yeah, I get that. I get that. And I also get. I think we had like a. A second down, I ran like a hitch. The ball went right through my hands. I get that too. Mm-hmm. But if I'm your one, that shouldn't be my last catch or target of the first half. Mm. Damn. I'm That's simple. Mm. I'm just pleased. Just... Sure. As I eat my steak. <laughs> I mean, what, what do we have to do? Like, This is key. To, we need to get over this hump, bro. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So what do we do? Like, I think the people really want to hear what do we, me and you, have to do to help. Like, if we talk about we want to be the highest paid guys, we want to be the future of this team, Absolutely. we want to be the face of this franchise. I feel like I know what I have to do. What do you feel like you have to do coming into this offseason, understanding the contract situation and how things need to be dealt with? Um, and we already hit that, but what do you feel like you need to do to uplift the receivers around you? Or like Absolutely. Uh, you know, what do you feel like you have to do to help lead this corpse, uh, you and Dak, to to take us to the promised land? First and foremost, I do got to grow up. Uh, there's plenty of ways of me handling different situations. Me being mad is not one of the answers. You know what I'm saying? So, and I know this. So times throughout the mm-hmm. year, you get frustrated, people feeling your energy, frustration, Absolutely. and just carrying it on. I just feel like that's contagious. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead but, of just be like, I could... I could I could be more of a leader. You know what I'm saying? I could be more vocal, even though I know that's not me. But understanding the situation, bro, if I'm going to take this label of being one, I take full accountability, bro. Mm, okay. If I'm going to take this label of being one, I can't. I can't. It's times where I got to get out my shell. You know what mm. I'm saying? My comfort zone. And you got to mm-hmm. rally the offense. You feel me? And Dak, I got, find me. Like, Dak, come on. Or, Dak. I'm not open on this. You got B Cooks on whatever, or you got MG on this. Mm-hmm. I could do this and do, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of ways of doing Feedback. it. Feedback. Instead of just getting angry, yeah, down. And getting quiet, and then nobody have answers. And now we look defeated Moss. on the sideline. Mm-hmm. We down 14. Bro, I played in a Big 12, bro. We scored 55 every week. Yeah, I know what no it's defense. like to score touchdowns. And yeah, y'all don't play no defense, for he, sure. Hmm, hmm. Or maybe. All right, so there you have it. That, that's just a small portion of this. You know, you hear, I'm, I'm happy that he's taking responsibility for himself, but he's also looking and saying, yeah, I had some drops, but for me not to get any more targets, I need to be that guy. And also saying that, you know what, I've got some growing up to do and so on. Dak's my guy. You know, this was really cathartic. I think that's the right word, cathartic, 
to hear him say this stuff. Now, actions speak louder than words. I am actually hopeful because I think about the beginning of the season where they weren't quite there, and it takes time to start learning a different offense and stuff. You know, Kellen Moore left, and now all of a sudden we're doing something different. You don't practice the way we used to where you'd have two-a-days and, you know, you know, 30 or 40 practices to start getting stuff together. You're learning basically in the game, so that's the only time you're going full speed. For this season to start out with those first four games and not do much, and all of a sudden you got like 1,200 yards, you know, the next bunch of games and stuff, is amazing. And it should be that if CD can take that next step, and Dak Prescott can continue doing what those things are doing, and they can stop being tired when the playoffs come up, then you feel good that if Jerry Jones means what he says and goes out and gets us a running back, takes care of the offensive line, you know, and, and doing these things that you should actually feel like we're not that far off. If the Cowboys actually do go all in, they're not that far off. Tampa Bay was an 8-8 eight and eight team. An 8-8 eight and eight team. And they went out, they got Tom Brady, they got Gronk, they got Namagan Sue and a bunch of other guys. And they went on and they won a Super Bowl. Why can't we be that? Food for thought, good people. Food for thought. All right, good people. I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side 